everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma A.K. Flares and I make lots of Animal Crossing videos, speed builds, etc. So if you like the sound of that, be sure to click that subscribe button and if you like the videos, remember to click the like button. Today's video, we are starting off in my kitchen. I kind of feel like I'm on the Food Network today, um, cooking you up something special. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Um, as much as I would love to and hopefully make something edible for you. Um, what we're going to be doing today is detailing all the items, the food items that we have in Animal Crossing. This video was inspired by a lovely member in my Discord channel. Her name is Vicky and she suggested putting kind of a one-stop shop guide together for all the food items and how to get them. So that is the aim of the video. Hopefully I don't miss anything out and it will be a good source of information for you guys if you're looking to create sort of a kitchen, a bakery, a restaurant kind of area and hopefully it will give you some inspiration for that. So let's get started. So in at number one, we have the Bambi lunchbox. This is a great item and it's just a normal DIY recipe that can be obtained in the normal ways. So buy a balloon, a message in the bottle. Snooty Island residents will also be crafting this item and it just takes four bamboo pieces to craft. As you can see, you have kind of your drink and then you have some little goodies in there. It looks like some vegetables, some sticky rice, which looks really nice. This one has been customized and it is customizable. So I've got one in my inventory. So I'll just quickly show you what they look like when they're customized, the options that you have. So you have the green bamboo, you have the dried bamboo, which is the one that I showed you, and also the smoke cured bamboo. So a few nice colors there. They're all quite natural, not too bright and colorful, but I think it's a really, really cute item and definitely one to consider if you have sort of a picnic sort of area, maybe on the beach, it would look great as well. For number two, we have the Berliners. These are probably one of my favorite food items that we have in the whole entire game. They are a Nooks shopping seasonal item. So they're available in your Nooks shopping catalog through the app from December 26 until December 31st. This was part of the New Year's Eve celebration. I'll just show you where the seasonal stuff is just in case you have never experienced it before. So if you don't have the app on your phone, you obviously go to the um, ATM that's in residence services and then you can purchase the season seasonal items there and it took me a while to figure it out so if you're new to the game don't forget to check that area as well these are really cute and I love the details on the plate and the jam as well in at number three we have the birthday cake this cake can be obtained from villagers as part of the player's birthday event. They can be customized into three colors. As you can see here, I have the strawberry one and the plain kind of vanilla flavored. I love it because you've got the candles and you can obviously turn them off as you interact with it. And they also have strawberries on it, which one of my favorite fruits. So that's always nice to see a really, really nice cake item that would look great in a bakery. In at number four, we have the Bunny Day Candy. This is available from Nook's Cranny during Bunny Day event and the seasonal kind of period. If you can see, you've got some a chocolate bunny, some chocolate eggs, and then I love this little detail, the chocolate egg with the little mini eggs poking out of the top. This is obviously all pastel colors to fit with the season, and it's really, really nice little cute item. It is very seasonal heavy, but I'm sure you can use it all year round. For number five, we have the chocolate hearts. These were of course available for the Valentine's event through the Nook's shopping seasonal section in your catalog. 
and they are available or were available between the 1st of February up until the 14th. They come in four colours. I've probably gone for the least Valentine's -y here but this is all that I had in my inventory. So you've got the white and the blue and the dark chocolate which is kind of a dark brown with the gold. There's a red one and also a pink one. If you kind of go throughout that time period that they're available you should get a different colour each day or it will change up over the days um, so it's not quite like the variations that you have in Nook's Cranny where you kind of only have one colour and that's it so it's a good way to be able to get all of them I think in at number six we have the coconut juice so if you're making a tropical island this item is definitely a must for you this can be obtained via DIY recipe obviously through the normal routes and also snooty island residents should be crafting this one as well so remember to check up on them and it takes just one coconut to craft so you can have as many coconut juices as you want for number seven we have the coffee cup this is one of my favorite items i love to put them everywhere as you can see there's one sat down in the table the dining table in this room which is the plain one you also have the yellow dotted one and the green i think it's called the elegant one uh, these are available from Nook's Cranny and they come in six variations don't quite have room to show them all here but they are all really cute Next up we have the Cornucopia, this was part of the Turkey Day event and could have been obtained from Franklin on Turkey Day if you completed all the DIY recipes as part of the event. It was a one-off item, you couldn't purchase it from anyone else or Nook's Cranny so it was quite difficult to get but it is a gorgeous item and quite big as you can see you've got all the fruits, the four kind of fruits and vegetables there looking really really nice. For number nine we have this big wheel of cheese, it's a lot of cheese. This is a Nook's shopping seasonal item available between May 22nd until May 31st. So hopefully you've managed to pick one up recently. This was added to the game to celebrate the cheese rolling festival that takes place in Gloucester, England. It is a bit of an oddity, a very bizarre event. But if you wanna go and view some YouTube videos, it's definitely worth just taking a peek and understanding what what goes on it's really really funny so yeah definitely check that out for number 10 we have the festival zongza this was available in nook shopping seasonal section again these are kind of rice sticky dumplings which are added to the game to celebrate the dragon boat festival which is celebrated in china they're available in the shopping section between june 5th until june 14th so hopefully they're there now for you to purchase and enjoy Next up we have the first anniversary cake. This cake was mailed to players after the 1.9.0 update and received a letter from Nook Inc as part of that. As you can see it's a gorgeous cake. Let me just get the camera out so you can really see all the details. You've got the fruit in the cream there, the green icing, all the kind of cookies around to represent the trees there's even a ladder on the back there with the bushes as well so i really really love that item for number 12 we have the frozen treat set this is a recipe made item which you can obtain the recipe from snowboy during winter and it requires one large snowflake and one normal snowflake to craft it does come with a bunch of varieties so let me just show you quickly which ones that you can customize it to as you can see it takes seven customization kits to recolor so definitely be sure as to which version you want so you got the soda the vanilla cream citrus berry kiwi fruit and the chocolate mint as summer is coming up i'm sure that this is an item that people will be using more frequently 
In at number 13 we have the fruit basket. This is another crafting item and you can obviously obtain the recipe in the normal way but also your cranky villagers will be crafting this one so check, check in on them if you haven't got the DIY as of yet. To craft it it requires one apple, one pear, one cherry, one orange and one peach. For number 14, I'm including the frying pan here. This is a DIY recipe again, which you can then craft the item with. It takes two iron nuggets to craft and it can be obtained from the DIY for beginners pack. So hopefully everyone has already got this recipe. At the moment, it doesn't have any food in here. So you might be questioning as to why I've included it. But if you go to your crafting table and customize it, then you'll see why. So here it is empty, you've got some sauteed vegetables there, some pasta, looks like some sort of carbonara, some ratatouille, some pizza, and a failed attempt. That's probably what most of my food will look like. I recently managed to burn and undercook a goulash at the same time. Don't ask me how. Um, not the best cook, but hey. Um, yeah, so that is the frying pan. For number 16, we have another fruity item. This is the infused water dispenser. This is a DIY recipe item and you can obtain it or have a higher chance of obtaining it from the cranky residents who will be crafting it. This one takes slightly more to make than the fruit basket. So you need two apples, two pears, two cherries, two peaches, two oranges and two coconuts. But it's a really, really gorgeous item and I love putting it in picnic areas, also like a restaurant area, maybe even on the beach if you have a juice bar or something, it would look great. Next up we have the Karopi snack. This is part of the Sanrio items and it is, I believe, a mochi snack, which is essentially a Japanese rice cake, normally used as a dessert. And for this one, we have the cute frog face and there is what looks like a little kind of chopstick there maybe in front of it. And it's all on a really lovely lily pad plate. I'm terrible for using these outside as a little pond decoration, but obviously they are a food item as well. You can only obtain these items after scanning in Toby's Amiibo into either Harv's Island or the campsite and then the items will become available in your promotion section in your catalogue on Nooks. Obviously you need to have access to the Amiibos to obtain this item or by trading with friends. So it might be one that's slightly hard to, harder to obtain but they are really really cute. For number 17, I have the mixer here. This is purchased from Nook's Cranny. It has eight variations, so there's a whole bunch of colors and hopefully you'll be able to find or trade for the one that you're after to fit your area. In at number 18, we have the mugs. Again, these are purchasable from Nook's Cranny and these have eight variations. As you can see, you've got tea inside, and there's lots of lovely colors that you can use for these. A little tip as well, if you didn't know, you can actually customize these. So you can put um, pictures on the front of them. The color won't change, but you can change the icon that goes on top of them. You can use the patterns that you obtain from Able Sisters and you can also use your custom designs. So if you want, I don't know, Oh look, I can have a branded laurel mug, some merch coming your way. <laughs> Next up at number 19 we have the Mum's Tea Cozy. This is an item that Mum will send to you via your mailbox during the month of April and it has six variations with it so I'll just quickly show you what all of them look like. It took me a while to realise that you can actually customise them so if you weren't aware of that you definitely can and here are all the cute variation off on offer you've got the red one the cute green sheep i love that one the floral pink the blue cat and the blue and gray for number 20 we have the mum's homemade cake again this item is sent via mum into your mailbox and it will be received on the player's birthday and this one also have 
has a number of customization six in total so hopefully there'll be a cake there that takes your fancy although any cake to be honest takes my fancy um we've got a cake a, a cake a cat cake even a strawberry and flowers one which kind of looks like cheesecake to me anyway a carrot cake a dog cake a bird and a chocolate cake so some really nice pretty variations there for number 21 we have the new year's noodles and these are really cute you've got the prawn tempura some spring onions there a little bit of beef or pork there's some noodles underneath all in that kind of soup so very much like a lovely ramen dish which really makes me want some wagamamas um, but really really nice item for number 22 we have another new year's item this is the olivier salad this is also available in the nooks seasonal section on the shopping app this was available between january 1st until january 15th when everyone's going through that phase of getting healthy getting fit and eating well for the new year so this definitely fits for that in at number 23 i've just had to quickly change out my table in order to fit in this item this is the outdoor picnic set and is part of the cherry blossom collection it is made by using the recipe that is obtained during spring during the secure season and it takes 10 cherry blossom petals to craft it it's a gorgeous item you've got a whole bunch of food items in this one you've got the orange juice the sandwiches the fries some little desserts there as well so a really really great item next in at number 24 we have the pom-pom purin pudding this is another sanrio item and this one is obtainable by scanning in marty's amiibo and then you'll have his full collection of furniture and items available in your promotional section in the nook shopping app now i wasn't sure whether to include number 25 it is a pop-up toaster and I was like mm, it doesn't really fit it's kind of a kitchen appliance but then I thought no it's got toast in it so we have to include it I love this item it's got six variations and is available from your nooks cranny as you can see the yellow one has a flower kind of burnt in on the toast and the blue one just behind me has the fish they come in some really really fun variations in at number 26 we have the soup kettle again this one can be purchased from nook's cranny and it comes with eight variations for number 27 we have the shiriki teok i'm really sorry if i've mispronounced that um i did try and google it but that wasn't very helpful this is available in the nook shopping seasonal section it is a form of rice cake with the wheel stamped on top of it it can be obtained during June 5th until June 14th and it is a celebration of the Dano festival which is a Korean holiday. In at number 28 we have the sparkling cider or the fizzy apple juice as it's known in UK. I think that's because cider to the us Brits that would mean something alcoholic and Nintendo probably wanted to avoid that. This was part of the New Year's Eve seasonal shopping section and it was available between December 26th until December 31st. In at number 29 we have the 12 grape dish again this was a Nooks shopping seasonal item available between December 26th until December 31st really cute item I love the bowl on this one for number 30 this is the wedding cake this was obtained by trading Cyrus five heart crystals during wedding se season and it has three customizable variations there's two of them here and the other one I'll just quickly show you just so that you know for reference what it looks like so that one's the cute one the chic one and the garden one for number 31 we have the yule log this was an item that was obtained from Nintendo after downloading the 1.6 update. There is five variations to this cake and I'll quickly show you them. Some of them are really pretty. 
So we have the chocolate one, which is probably the most traditional, the chestnut, the whipped cream chop whipped cream topping with the strawberries on, and then a strawberry one with some blueberries and a green tea one. And finally, this is number 32. This is the pie pie. This was a seasonal item that was in celebration of pie day and was available in the Nook shopping app between March 1st and March 14th. So guys, that's the end of our food video today. Um, it's definitely made me hungry. Time to go and get some breakfast, I think. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which one is your absolute favorite food item. And remember, if you've enjoyed the video, to click that like button and subscribe if you're not ready. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon with another video. Thank you.